Hello, I am Dr. Krishna Patil. I am a consultant nephrologist at Kim's Hospitals, Gachibowli, Hyderabad. Today I will be discussing the indications for starting dialysis. So dialysis is offered in two settings in kidney failure. One is acute kidney failure that is suddenly the kidneys have failed and the second is the chronic kidney failure where progressively the patient's kidneys have failed and reached to stage 5 kidney disease. Today's video we will be limiting to indications for starting dialysis in chronic kidney failure that is stage 5 kidney disease patients. So the indications can be certain symptoms that the patient is experiencing and certain blood tests that the doctor will assess. So what are those symptoms that the, that the patient should be aware of to understand that he needs dialysis? See, when the kidneys have failed and the toxins are accumulating in the body, when they start affecting different organs, there will be certain symptoms. The commonest symptom that patients come with is loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting. It is very logical to understand. If a system is unable to excrete the toxins, then the system will also stop accepting food. So the first symptom would be patient lacks any interest in food, starts having nausea especially in the morning and vomiting on eating. The second symptom patients should be watchful of is itching all over the body. The skin may start getting hyperpigmented lesions like uh, blackish spots on the body and itchiness all over the body. So the dryness of skin goes up as the urea accumulates causing itchiness. Third thing is patients may have breathlessness that is the lungs getting flooded or acid accumulation in the blood will cause breathing difficulty. Patients may have breathlessness to an extent that they are unable to sleep and they sleep sitting in chair. So these are some indications. Fourth, it may affect heart causing uremic pericarditis that is inflammation or swelling around the heart causing chest pain or fluid accumulation around heart. It may also a symptom that the patients lack sleep. So there is reversal of sleep pattern. They remain awake at night and feel drowsy during the day. And the brain when affects is affected much, it may also lead to convulsions or fits and unconsciousness. So these are some uh, symptoms which indicate the patient needs dialysis. Now what are the blood tests? The blood tests, the number one is creatinine which tells how many percent of our filters are working, the EGFR. So when the EGFR goes below 8, that means the patient's kidneys are not helping to maintain the blood's parameters in range. So that is an indication to start dialysis. Second is looking at the serum potassium level. If despite of good medical management with medicines, the potassium is consistently above 5.5, that is again an indication because high potassium can cause sudden death due to heart rhythm abnormalities. Third is too much of acid accumulation in the blood uh, causing acidosis and breathlessness. So these are some blood parameters, the acidosis based on ABG or the pH of the blood, blood potassium level and serum creatinine. These are some basic tests which will tell that the patient needs cleansing of his blood which his kidneys are not doing. That process is dialysis. Thank you.